If you didn't know already, Keltner Channel Indicator is an extremely simple indicator yet very versatile. You can use it for mirror version and trend following. And it's very adaptable as it has three main variables that you can play with to change the behavior of the indicator. In today's video, I will show you how to set the indicator in your trading platform and how you can use it to build those strategies. So let's jump in. Keltner channel is one of those indicators that I love because they are reliable and versatile and adaptable. Actually, you can use them in all kinds of uh, strategies, all kinds of instruments, and all kinds of time frames. The indicator is really simple. It has three lines. The middle line, which is an exponential moving average, and then the upper channel, which is the exponential moving average plus two times the average uh, true range. And the lower channel is the EMA minus two times the average true range. Back in the 60s, when Ke Chester Keltner invented the indicator, he used the simple moving average in the middle line, and he used the only the bar range instead of the average true range. So this is the updated formula, which happened uh, somewhere in the 80s. And if you have a trading platform, uh, most likely you will have this formula in. While the indicator is very simple, uh, but it's very adaptable as I mentioned because it has three variables. So the first variable is the look back period for the moving uh, average and then we have the multiplier and then we have the look back period for the average true range. So those three variables make the indicator extremely versatile. So let me show you how it look on the charts. Hello everyone, my name is Ali Casey and thank you for joining me on Stat Oasis channel where we discuss finance, investing and algorithmic trading. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the great, amazing, wonderful content that I post daily on this channel. Also, I would really appreciate it if you can smash the like button and share the video with others as this will signal to Google to push the video to other traders, other investors so they can get the same value out of these videos just like you. So back to the indicator and let me show you some examples. So here I have the uh, chart of the S&P 500. And if I put the indicator on, so the middle line, which is the white line, is the exponential moving average. And the red line is the upper channel, which is two times the ATR. And the green line is the lower channel, which is two times the ATR minus the exponential. And here we can see that we can set the look back period for the EMA. And of course, we can use SMA and EMA. Of course, the uh, EMA will be slightly more responsive. And then the multiplier, which is uh, times the ATR. So most likely you'll find it either one and a half or two, depending on your trading platform. And then we have the source for the calculation of the EMA. Uh, this most likely would be the typical price or the close price. Of course, here in trading view, we have you can use the open high low close, high low divided by two, typical price, which is high low closed by three, or all of the points, open high low close by four. And then we have the ATR length, which is the average true range length, and then you can play with that too. So these are the three variables, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So how does the variable affect the behavior of the indicator? We can see that if I decrease the multiplier, then the channel will go closely in. So now you can see that this bar opened below the lower channel. And if I increase the multiplier a little bit, then it will sit outside the channel. So then the volatility, even though it's the, we're still measuring the same volatility, but just by uh, playing with the multiplier, we can include some bars uh, outside or inside the channel. So what this gives us an idea is that if I put this uh, at a lower number, then uh, for mirror version, I will get basically more trades because more trades will close uh, around the lower channel. And then for trend following, I instead of having multiple uh, signals, maybe I should increase that to have uh, only the good signals. So maybe 2.2. .2. So 
So this signal is good, this signal is good, this signal is good. So you get the idea of what to do. Now, the ATR, of course, if it's a lower number, then it will be more sensitive. And you can see now it's not as smooth as before. And of course, the further away you go, then it's less sensitive and it will be just a parallel uh, move to the moving average. And then, of course, same thing goes for the EMA, which is if we go shorter period, then it will be more sensitive. So it will go up and down. And of course, if we go longer period, then it will be a little bit, uh, let's say, uh, straightforward. So, of course, when you change it, it changes where the bar open and close sits on these channels. So because of those three variables, which can really change the behavior of the indicator, you can make it very smooth with less signals for mirror version or for trend following, or you can make it highly sensitive to capture the noise during intraday moves. So it's all up to you on how you develop your strategies and you can play with these numbers to find the best settings that suits your style of trading. So let's start with a simple mirror version strategy. And this strategy, we will go along when the price uh, close below the lower channel. So for example, this one, when it close below the lower channel, we will go along as this is a mirror version strategy. And because we're trading the SPY, so we'll only use it for long signals. So this is another one. And this is another one. And this is another one. So you get the idea. So here, if we type uh, Keltner uh, channel in strategy quant X, of course, this indicator is available in all platforms. And here we will use a simpler version, which is uh, where the instruction is all in one statement. So we're looking for bar closes below lower band. So very simple. And the period is 20 and the deviation is 1.5. So in this uh, Keltner channel, we don't have uh, the period affects the ATR period and the uh, simple moving average period. Also, we don't have a choice in terms of what we're going to use for the calculation, typical price, close, open. So this will depend on your platform. And here we have no option just to go with the default or whatever they have. But we can play with the period and the multiplier. So I will use the default 20 and 1.5. And then for exiting the trade, we have two options. We either exit at the middle line or we exit at the upper channel. So let's try the middle line first. So that means we're looking for the close to be greater than, and here I will use the typical. So the price closes above the EMA 20 bars using the typical measurement then I will exit. What this is, it will not be exactly as the middle line. And we're using trade station on the S&P 500. So we can, we have data back to 93 and just fixed 100 shares and no slippage and commissions. And of course, the strategy works very well as most mirror version strategies works on the S&P 500. Of course, actually on, on most US or North American stock indexes and some overseas indexes, they also show the same behavior where they are mainly mere reverting long biased indexes. So let's try the other exit, which is the upper channel. And we will go again, Keltner, and we will use again the same uh, simple statement where the bar closes above the upper band. Again, we're using the default and I will delete the uh, close above the EMA. So currently we have a $15,000 profit with 16.4% drawdown, 168 trades. So now we reduce the number of trades, but we increase our profits and our drawdown. Because the indicator has three variables, and like you saw on the chart, you can easily change the behavior of the indicator regarding the price. So it's going to be like a lot of trial and error to find the best settings. So there is another way to use uh, to, uh, to find that uh, stable period. 
And depending on your platform, this could be uh, an optimization session. It could be a separate module, or you need to do it by programming. In SQX, we have a module for optimizer, and we can use that module to find that stable region. Uh, so here in optimizer, I loaded the strategy, and then we can change the upper and lower multiplier. So first of all, let's change the multiplier and see if we have a stable region. So I started the multiplier 0.5 to 3.5 and a step of 0.25. And let's run the strategy. So the Y axis is the entry and the X axis is the exit. And we can see there is this space. And if we pick a surface, we can see that this surface looks good right on here. So maybe this valley which is number three and then from this side it is between it's 1.25 so 1.25 for the entry and three for the exit and this actually makes sense because 1.25 will make the channel smaller so you'll get more trades and then three will make the channel further so it's like you're setting your uh, profit target uh, further away and of course uh, the nice thing is all of them are profitable so you can see minimum profits we have is 20,000 so uh, maximum is 180 so all of these uh, points are profitable so if we change this to 1.25 to enter and we will exit with three and now we are making 35,000 and 25 percent drawdown so of course we increased the return to drawdown ratio and we lost uh, some more trades so of course it's a balance i mean there is no perfect solution it depends on how many trades you want it depends on your portfolio that you're mixing this with that portfolio uh, you can add stop loss and profit targets which would change the profile of the drawdown uh, as you can see there are many things to do here this is a basic setup but the nice thing it's a really robust setup uh, working on all uh, and of course i change the atr period and i change the moving average periods and they all work profitably which is amazing i mean so simple indicator yet it's been working since 1993 on the S&P 500. Now, the, we all know the S&P 500 is a mean reverting instrument, but I will try this as a trend following uh, indicator on the S&P 500. So for trend following, we can use the breakout. So anytime the close above the uh, upper channel, we can go long. And when it's below, we can go short. But there is another way to look at this which is we can go long when both channels turn up and we go short when both channels go down so it says skeletal channel upper uh, which is the upper channel is rising and the lower one is rising and we will exit when both of them are falling down again uh, i'm using the s p 500 same data 100 shares and let's see how that looks like and actually, this is a surprise to me as uh, trend following usually doesn't work well on uh, the indexes. But this surprisingly works well as this one is making 6.7 per return to drawdown ratio. Of course, if you are a viewer of the channel, then most likely, you know, we use all the time the 200 day moving average as a general filter for the strategy to go along. So let's try this filter here and see if it works. So it does enhance the strategy as expected. I would say, you know, it's good, but it's not uh, amazing. <laughs> so let me try another filter. And this is definitely much better. So this enhances all the KPIs. And this one makes more trades. But of course, it's making less money per trade. But this would be good to uh, combine it uh, with the other strategy. Because these strategies, they will not be working together. So for example, this mean reversion strategy, it's working when both channels are down. 
and while the trend happens here when both channels are up so while both of them are long but they work on different times there you go extremely simple indicator that can be used in many many ways mean reversion trend following on all kind of instruments intraday daily time frame weekly time frame it's very versatile indicator i like i told you and it's very adaptable also and you can shift it through the variables to use it as you like so i hope this opened your eyes to uh, other ways to use this indicator of course if you have any questions any comments please do so below the video and i'll be more than happy to answer you as i do read and answer all questions sent to the channel also if you want to take this further and be part of my inner circle you are most welcome to join our discord server through the patreon link down below where i host live weekly questions and answer sessions alongside the uh, tactical asset allocation portfolio signals the stocks portfolio signals and of course the multiple strategy codes or the custom blogs that i do on the channel they will be available uh, to download for free over there so until the next video good luck with your trading good luck with your investing stay safe and i'll see you soon